All right, time to go up to the fourth floor. I gotta talk to everybody else first, though. We gotta talk to those, uh, all these people. Now, now I can seems give like the fatigue has gone away. Now I can give. All right. I guess I was just imagining the the pressing weight upon my on my skull. Man, I want to cook. Cafeterias. They're not serving anything today. As bad as the emergency ration is just eating something. I don't know, I've been eating a shit wait, ton of- Wait, do you see that? When I gave chocolate to the little girl earlier, I thought I saw a ghost behind her. Yes! <laughs> uh... I don't really need to buy rations. People... God damn it. Fucking... <laughs> is this like- Is it tied to specific spots? Maybe. No, it's random. It- <laughs> No, because you already activated that spot. Obviously. Sniper, no sniping. Okay, so it wasn't Deja Voodoo who was controlling the trash cans. He was making you heavy. He was bringing you down. Down, down, down. Give- yes! Oh! CHOCOLATE! CHOCOLATE! <laughs> I was- She's like, give me the chocolate! I- I was! I was! That's what I was doing! <laughs> Read your dialogue. Uh, I said give me the chocolate! I need sugar! Seven dust. Oh! <laughs> it's annoying! It's the moving trash cans that we've been seeing around the building! My name is Seven Dust. I'm the stand that's controlling this girl's mind. <laughs> Since she's just a little kid, she's not that strong. But that's where I come in. I'll take revenge on the world that let her parents fall. <laughs> <laughs> she literally just thinks the world is garbage. <laughs> but I need more energy, damn it. Something to boost her brain power, like sugar! That chocolate bar will do the trick! Then the, then the user of that weird stand we've been seeing is... You got that right! I created these trash-like monsters! They're a part of me! Garbage tossed aside by the world, just like her family! <laughs> You'll end up the same way after I wear you out with my army! <laughs> I'm so glad he's making this game as we're playing! <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn you into rubble! Not only can this girl not control her stand, but it's the other way around. I have to do something without hurting her. God damn it! <laughs> Failure conditions. Alice is KO'd. The entire party KO'd. Alan, they're brainstorm! Yes! <laughs> oh, Galahad and Miriam have to hold back. Use the brainstorm. Finish the fight. Miriam is enduring Alan's thinking. You couldn't think of anything! No! Am I the only person- I'm the only person who's ever failed at this. No, I think, um... Oh shit, Miriam died. Galahad's dead too. You better brainstorm right the fuck now. Ugh. You couldn't think Oh of no! It. Curse you for as long as you live. He's just... Buffing. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Get fucked. Retired. I know. <laughs> all right, we gotta try that again. Oh boy. All right, make sure everyone's all healed up. Yeah, that's probably why they died like right away. Even if they're not doing anything, they'll still draw enemy fire. So you can brainstorm. <laughs> try, try uh, auto attacking the um. Or not auto attacking, but you know, uh, just regular attacking the trash cans. I think he's just gonna summon more trash cans because he says he creates them. Mm, that's true. This game is so far proven that it's just as smart as us. It's true. <laughs> Garbage, throw it away, just like this girl's family. God damn, just God. It's predictable, but in like a fun way.
Miriam shot a tranquilizer dart! Oh, oh thanks, Miriam. Alice slumped in her chair and fell asleep. Whew, that was close. I didn't want to have to use that, but what's done is done. What, what was that just now? I th- you can be Galahad. It's a special tranquilizer developed by Speedwagon Foundation. Although I never thought we'd have to use it in such a young girl. It, impossible, she's getting up. That's not a tranquilizer for a full grown man. That would kill a child. Who are you guys? What was I doing? You mean you don't remember? You mean just a second ago? I, I can't remember at all. I don't get a menacing vibe from her anymore. No, there's no go, 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 go in the air. <laughs> oh, the shock of this horrible war must have awakened the stand inside her heart. These two have to be stand users. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, young lady. Take this chocolate as an apology. If I, if I can keep them on my team, maybe they unlock stands. <gasps> no, they're super dead. No! Oh, you know, they're Biggs and Wedge. They're de- from Final Fantasy VI. They're dead. Thank you. Here, why don't you have this as a thank you? I don't really remember where I got it. Got a sunlight remedy. That's right. There you go. Raises max stats. Put that on, motherfucker. There. Your max stats have been raised. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what is this? There you are. Oh, hey, look. Treasure chest. Yeah. DJ Stra- hey, Straight? Sh- Strazo? You don't know who I am? I'm DJ Strazo from the radio show Longulation. I've been in this business for 40 years. He's DJ Straits. Oh, man. The ancient Tibetan monk, Tom Petty. It's a zombie! Fucking Dio. Sun laser! Or sunbeam, yeah, sunbeam. Maybe... Let's you gotta try use... heat ray first. Try right. the medium one first. There. But the power of the sun. Galahad, level 19, was reached. Just try sunbeam. Oh, it's light damage, yeah. That's different. Oh, yeah? All right, there we go. I thought they were both in the same damage category because they're like it's for some heat waves lumped together with the uh, uh, the other sun stuff. Uh... Absorb the iron in their bloodstream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, kinda, it kind of sucks that you can't tell uh, Galahad and Miriam what to do. They just kind of have to... I mean, it's whatever. They do They do a lot of damage. I have, I have items to fucking keep them going. Thanks, Galahad. Galahad, I fucking love you. He was Can I have you in the final team instead of Kakyoin or Polnareff? <laughs> but then he'll be the one who's just like, I've set up a, I've set up a barrier of explosive devices, Dio. Any move you make, and I'll hit this switch. I'll show you the world! And then Galahad's gonna do the sniper shot on the fucking clock <laughs> tower! <laughs> to <let us go. laughs> yeah! This is my final- I'm honestly scared that the game will do that! <laughs> there's no way, like, like, alright, alright, when I said there's no way they'll do the thing that they've already <laughs> did for you to have those place, there's no way they'll replace Kakyoin's death with Galahad. There's no way. What if I- But Alright, 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 I, I mean, I feel, like there, I feel like that there's a chance that I could just get an ending where I beat Dio before Kakyoin sacrifices himself. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 100%, definitely. That's definitely a thing that'll happen. 
That could happen, I should say. But what I'm saying is like, all right, the caveat to Galahad maybe dying instead of Kakyoin, like that thing we just said. The caveat is Galahad and Miriam surviving this section of gameplay. Like, if they die at the end of this, obviously that's out the window. But if they survive, it's still on. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> I want to know what their stands are so bad. <laughs> like, if they can see these stands that you're fighting, like... Because <gasps> they saw the trash cans, they saw the stand on the little girl, and they were like, the stand, the girl is a stand user. Mm. Cause actually no, I think I think when you first got them on your party, they said they weren't stand users. Then they lied to me, obviously. <laughs> they just don't have their stands yet. Ripple one. A lure was learned. Ah oh, man, all these skills that we can't use. It's like, it's doubly weird that they're also learning skills, which... Maybe? It's been, it's been a long time since I played a game where a party member that you don't get to keep learns things on the way. I could name a couple of games where you have party members you don't get to keep that have full move lists. Tales of Vesperia doesn't count. You get that guy on your team later. Persona 3 and Persona 5. In Persona 3 Shinjiro, he has a full end game, like up to level 80 something move list, like everybody else. <laughs> you keep him for barely 10 levels or whatever. Like, you get him at level, what, 30 or something? He'll barely make it to 40 by the time you lose him. And then in Persona 5, Akechi. Like, he, he comes in, like, near the end of the game, but he's also got a full end game move list that. That without heavy grinding, you're unlikely to see. I mean, well, oh yeah, I mean, I guess... Oh, uh, wait! <laughs> what is it? Bazooka, Bazooka launcher, launcher was call learned. Out. Call out was learned. Severe physical damage to all enemies, and removes... From, from out, from Ali. <laughs> oh my god. See, so you know those, uh, those, um, what's it called? Those magic cards that are, like, run through a Gerbillion, like, text translators? Yeah. Physical and Mental Sword. Uh, it's one of the, um, it's one of the, the, the these swords, the dual colors. It's, like, the, the pro, the pro two color swords. All right. <clears throat> Physical and Mental Sword. Food utensils. Plus two, plus two is protected from fruits and vegetables. <laughs> If a powerful animal comes, green cards, green cards, green cards with ten green cards. <laughs> Furniture and two. <laughs> oh man. 